All right, what's up, guys? Coach Chris here with another coaching, uh, sorry, cooking corner video. Uh, today, I wanted to show you some uh, simple things you can do uh, to help your fat loss goals here in the new year. I know a lot of people are trying to drop those uh, seven to ten pounds they've added over the holiday. One of the best ways that you can do that is going into a temporary low carb diet. All right, now this works. So you're going to lose some body fat. You're going to lose some water weight as well. Uh, so you definitely want to switch back and go into more carbohydrates a little bit later, but that's for another video. This is just a simple tip for you to be able to use. And today I'm going to show you how I make life simple when it comes to nutrition. So I'm making two meals here. Uh, one is for my girlfriend and one is for myself. So we're eating two different things really. She's just going to be having some plain scrambled eggs uh, with omega-3 uh, cage-free eggs. All right, so that's the first step is you want to invest in these guys all right caged free omega-3 eggs they're a lot healthier for you uh, they have the healthy fats that you're going to need to be successful in a low carb diet all right the second thing all right the second thing is I have used organic coconut oil all right organic coconut oil is in my pans right now uh, the reason why is it's going to have a low smoking point and it's not going to be as bad as olive oil when olive oil starts to heat up. So these pans are nice and hot. All right, so now what I'm going to take for my meal is I'm going to be doing a little bit of a mixed omelet. All right, a mixed scramble, I guess you could say. I've taken ground turkey and organic grass-fed beef. I've cooked it already the other night with uh, onions and peppers. So that's a really good tip. If you want to be able to make breakfast more successful, have your protein kind of already ready, right? Have your protein ready, prepped, kept in a Tupperware bowl just like this so that you can easily come in with a scoop and put your serving sizes in that you want. All right, so sometimes you can use a hand, a, hand, a cupped handful or your palm the size to see what your protein source is gonna be. But for today, because it's easy accessible, I'm gonna use cups and my, and my serving is gonna be one cup of my meat. All right. One more scoop. Boom. So I put that at the bottom of my pan and I'm just going to kind of let that cook up real quick. And I'm going to move over to the eggs here because Gina's isn't going to be that difficult. We're just going to be taking some eggs. All right, already whipped up. I'm just gonna throw those eggs in the pan. All right, and I might have given her too many eggs, so I'm gonna steal some. All right, perfect. So our eggs are here. Now I'm gonna add the rest of my eggs in here to the pan. All right, so that's gonna cook up for a little bit. Now, being on low carb, sometimes you can get away with a little cheese. So we just got some Mexican style four cheese. You don't wanna go crazy with dairy, uh, but a little cheese never hurt anybody. Just make sure you know how much you're using. So a quarter cup is one serving here, and it's 110 calories. All right, it's got nine grams of fat five of which are saturated, all right, and then seven grams of protein. So you are gonna be getting a little bit more calories because it is a little bit higher in fat. So we're not even gonna use a quarter cup. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in. All right, just because I like the way it kind of holds the eggs together, gives it a little flavor. Just like that, we're done with the cheese. The next step, obviously, will be to add some seasoning. So I'm a big fan of keeping it simple. So I literally use the same seasoning on almost everything that I cook. So a lemon pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and some sea salt. Crack a little bit of that over it, mix it up, cook it till it gets fluffy, and you have a perfect low carb breakfast uh, you can slice up some avocados tomatoes to add to it throw any of your mixed vegetables 
but the key to being successful this January is going to be cutting out some of the breads and increasing some of your healthy fats and proteins and uh, working out, of course. So if you need help with working out, you can click the link below and we'll help you out.